What's up everyone, Drew here. We're taking a look at what's on my iPhone 5. So I have two pages on my device. The first page, I keep all my applications that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. And over on the second page, I keep all my apps in folders to make it look a lot cleaner instead of going to page to page to find applications. So let's start this off on the first page here. So on the first page, we have phone, camera, photos. Then we have weather lab to view the actual weather but it actually displays the weather up on the top right, hence the name live. Then we have YouTube, the App Store, Notes, Clock, Fandango for viewing movie times, Wells Fargo, Huntington, and Quick AdSense for banking. We have Instagram, Facebook, Foursquare, Settings, and Flashlight to turn on the LED on and off. Very nice UI interface. I like the flashlight on the device. Much cleaner than some of them out there, and it's very simple. So that is Flashlight. So let's go on to the second page here. So on the second page we have Newsstand for Wall Street Journal and the New York Times. I don't really open that too much, but again, if I wanted to read one of those articles, I could do so. We have contacts. I won't be going into that because it shows all my contacts. Then we have the Apple apps where I keep all my standard stocked iOS apps that Apple won't let you to delete. But I just throw them into a folder because I don't really use them. Then we have Apple, Airport Utility, the Apple Store. Cards, Find Friends, Find iPhone, iMovie, iTunes U, iPhoto, GarageBand, iBooks, Remotes for accessing your iTunes music, are your Apple TV, Trailers for viewing movies. Then we have Podcast for actually streaming podcasts on your device. We have Arcade, Angry Birds, and Angry Birds Star Wars, Call of Duty, Asphalt 7, Heat, Cut the Rope, Cut the Rope. And then we have Doodle Jump, Fruit Ninja, CSR Racing, Crazy Taxi, then we have Death Worm, Flight Control, and Flick Home Run. Then we have random apps that I just throw in here. Then we have Nike Run, Target, ESPN, Pinterest, Pick Snitch, Pimp Screen. Then we have Pulse. Then we have PayPal, Speed Test, Starbucks, a QR reader. Then we have Pimp Camera. We got Time Hop. Then we got Heads or Tails for flipping coins and Yelp. We have games Temple Run and Temple Run 2, Leap Swirl, Jetpack Joyride. Rayman Run, and then we have Real Racing 2, Tiny Wings, GP, Subway Surfers, then we have Zombie Gunship and S Sonic J Jump, Mega Run, Plants vs. Zombies, Tiny Wings, True Skate, and Pocket God. We have Photography, we got YouTube Capture, Camera Plus, Hipstamatic, and Vine. Vine's pretty cool because you can view like actual photos, but they're videos. So that's nice. Then we have entertainment, Netflix, ABC Player, ABC, then we have Crackle, we have Action Movie, then we have Flickster for movies, Skype for talking to people, Cuckoo, email for voicemail, lifestyle, we got Best Buy, Amazon, Bump, the Weather Channel, apps gone free, we have Google Chrome, Google Maps, eBay, Cinegram, Doubler, CNN, Google Plus, Flipboard, we have Flow Paper, Jack Thrace and Flickr. And then the last folder we have music. We got Hip Hype Music, Vimeo, Music, Sound Hound, Magic Piano, Spotify, Shazam, Song Pop Free, and Pandora. So then at the dock we have Messages, Mail, Safari, and Tweetbot for a third party Twitter client. Definitely an awesome Twitter client to check out. It's definitely nice. It's all over the Mac and the iOS phones. So definitely check it out. So there you go. This has been what's on my iPhone 5. Definitely make sure you check out some of these applications. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go to make sure to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Drop all of your comments down below. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more up-to-date news. All those links are down below in the video description. Until next video, guys, we'll see you all in the next one.